Well, hello everyone, it's Diana from Raw Foods Made Simple and I wanted to show you a little bit how food prep doesn't have to be overwhelming or take a lot of time. Uh, eating healthy for one week or even four days in a row doesn't have to be hard because this is one of my tricks. So I have uh, <clears throat> a whole bunch of cut up veggies here. This looks beautiful. This is actually my raw stir fry. So these are just the veggies of a raw stir fry. I have uh, carrots, two colors, yellow and orange carrots. I have some bell peppers. I have some purple cabbage. I have some white cabbage. I have some kale chopped up. I have some little peas. I just thaw frozen peas in warm water. And what else do I have in here? <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. And broccoli. I have some broccoli in here too, chopped broccoli. So this, uh, there's no sauce on it or anything. This is just how I store it. A whole bunch of chopped raw veggies in a bowl container in my fridge and so one day I can have this with one sauce like here I've made a sesame ginger sauce these are little mason jars which are great for storing things and I just have a piece of tape on top saying what type of sauce it is quick easy to blend up in a little personal blender sesame ginger this one is a sweet chili sauce so this is just blended up and these will last you know close to a week in your fridge you can have them with other salads also and then this is like a peanut sauce with almond butter and tahini and then I have some rice noodles here now these are cooked so these are uh, brown rice noodles vermicelli you can get white brown whatever the brown are a little more expensive so made from brown rice then I just have my sesame seeds I like black sesame seeds they add a lot of look and texture it's black and white sesame seeds now so one day I may have the salad like this with a sauce on it, just like a regular salad, maybe have some raw crackers and avocado or something. Another day I could smash the avocado into the salad, pour another little sauce on it and eat it that way with a soup or something. And then, then another day I could add seaweed into the salad and then make a dressing that, like the sesame ginger would be really good with the seaweed in the salad. So this is Wakami. I bought it at an Asian store. It's actually from uh, Vancouver Island, I think, or Vancouver. Uh, you have to soak it. So you soak that, you rinse it, and you drain it really well. And that can go into a salad like this. So I would take some of this out, put it in a bowl, put some seaweed in with it, and then pour the sauce over and take it to work, something like that. Uh, I also have some macro kelp. Macro kelp is really good. It's uh, very salty, though. So here it is right here. <laughs> And uh, you just break it up in your salad. It's crispy enough to soak it or anything. You can, but you don't have to. And break that up, put it in my salad too. And then I also have seaweed dulse. Dulse you just break apart. It's also a little more salty. Uh, kelp is saltier than dulse. And just break this up. To loads of minerals is what seaweed has in it. So lots of minerals. So one day I would have uh, my salad with some seaweed in it. And then another day I could have the same ingredients on top of some rice noodles. These can be cold. They're really good in a salad cold with a sauce on top of that. One of these sauces on that, the peanut sauce or something would be really good. And then another day I would have maybe some veggies like this cut up and put on quinoa. Now either I could, I could saute these, I could heat them up, saute them with garlic and ginger, put them over a bed of hot quinoa and that would be delicious adding a sauce or just keeping it like that with a little bit of brags or tamari on top of it. So really you can have with one little dish of veggies, you can make it into four or five different meals. That is how you make it easier to eat healthy for a full week. Now another thing I could do is I could take these veggies because they don't have a lot of greens in them right now. So I would take, let's say, a bag of mixed greens, put that in a salad bowl and then add some of these, just like you would add chopped veggies to a regular salad. And that would be a whole different kind of salad too. So those are my ideas. Those are some little tips. I encourage you fully to always have a lot of veggies in your fridge. Cut the, cutting them up, of course, makes it easy to grab every day. Uh, and either when you leave it like this without any cucumbers in it or tomatoes, you can easily heat it up or make it into a straw hot stir fry too. So very versatile. That is my tip for you this week. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon.